Okay, how to put a song into Frets on Fire. First, what you'll do, you'll go to the internet from whatever site you want to get your song from, download it, and it'll either save as a zip file, a RAR archive, or something similar to that. After you do that, what you want to do, you want to download a program so you can extract that. It's called WinRAR. Go to Google, type in download WinRAR, and click on the second link right here. Click on the little link that says WinRAR 3.8 Beta 1. Save it. I've already got it, so I'm not going to show that part, but you should know the download process. Go into the file for WinRAR and open it up. The thing that opens it up is this little three book stack tied up with a belt. So once you're in, you're going to want to find wherever your folder for the song that you just put in was. In my case, it's right here, all GH3 songs for Fred's on Fire. If it's in a folder, double click it and it will get to this little thing. You'll know it's right because it will have the weird little symbol right next to it. So, what you do, you click on whichever one you want to extract first. Go to the Extract To folder. And over in here, you want to go to wherever you saved your frets on fire. On my case, it's the desktop. Open frets on fire, open data, and open songs. Click on the song folder, and then hit OK. And it will extract for you. Now, sometimes when you extract a song, the song will have this weird beat in the background, this weird, like, little trombone noise, not trombone, little banjo noise. So if that happens, go into your song folder. Go into whichever song does that. If you have Guitar Heroes 2 songs, it's quite a few. Let's see. Let's talk more Rockets 1. What you want to do in that case, there'll be a file called rhythm.ogg. You want to delete that, and then the song will be fixed. And that is how you download a song into Fretz on Fire.